Welcome to the Wireless LAN News Desk for April 12th, 2019. My name is Tom Carpenter. I'm the CTO at CWNP. And it's been a while since we've had a new news news desk. So I want to talk a little bit about some of the buzz in the news in wireless networking. And one of the big topics being discussed lately at vendor conferences and so forth is artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning. And so over the next several weeks, no doubt, I'm going to be talking a little bit about its applications within wireless. But here in the very first news desk talking about artificial intelligence, I want to talk a little bit about really what it is, cover some terminology and so forth. And then we'll take a look at an example of a recent announcement from a vendor related to artificial intelligence and machine learning within their systems. So to begin with, what is artificial intelligence or AI? Well, that's a great question and there are many, many answers. I've read dozens of books over the last few years on artificial intelligence, machine learning, expert systems, different topics like this. And you'll find there are varying definitions in each one. Now, a practical definition would be to take the words apart and see what they mean. Artificial? Well, it means fake, right? It's made or produced by humans. It's not naturally occurring. Humans created it. And then intelligence is the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills. So artificial intelligence is intelligence created by humans or the ability to acquire and apply knowledge and skills created by humans, right? So it's not something that creates itself per se. That's the obvious dream of AI, that someday machines will be able to create themselves and make themselves better. But we're long, long, long distances from that becoming a reality. Now, my thoughts. Well, AI is a science of behavior or actions and not of cognitive ability. In other words, if something has AI, we observe it and see that it appears to be intelligent to us. Because it appears to be intelligent, we say it has or possesses intelligence. Now, we all know computing devices are simply binary calculation engines, okay? They have transistors within them. They have the ability to have billions of on and off switches that they can use to make decisions. With programming logic, they can be made to appear to have intelligence. And that's really what AI is about. Having them do the work for us that an expert might do, that a human might do. Being able to look at data and come up with good decisions based on that data. Stated simply, if it acts like an intelligent being, it has accomplished AI. And this is fundamentally the Turing test that came out of Turing's paper in 1950. And so the test there would be take a human and put them in one room. Then in another room, place another human and in another room, place the computing system. Now the human in the first room has to be able to determine that one of them is not human while that human is communicating with them. And they may communicate in such a way that the communication itself does not give away that it's not a human. For example, if you've heard text to speech, it often sounds artificial, right? So you wouldn't want that. But rather, if there's a human typing on the screen from one room, and then the computer not typing, but putting output on the screen from the other room, can I tell the difference between the human and the computer? If I cannot, it's passed the Turing test. It means it appears intelligent to me. And ultimately then, this really becomes the driving definition of what is artificial intelligence. Now that brings up the question then, what is machine learning? Because people talk about them, sometimes use them synonymously, but they're not synonymous. It's a great question and again has many answers. A practical definition is breaking it apart, right? A machine is a computing device or system, in this case. And learning is gathering and analyzing data, in this case. So machine learning is about gathering data and deciding what is useful for decision making. Let me say it this way, a decision that differs from a past decision based on new data or calculations is evidence of machine learning artificial intelligence. Now I can say it that way because you see machine learning is a subset of AI. So stated mathematically, machine learning belongs to the set AI or the set AI includes the subset machine learning. Okay, so machine learning is AI, but not all AI is machine learning. Like, for example, a Ford is an automobile, but not all automobiles are Fords. So machine learning is a part of AI. Not all AI systems learn. 
So some AI systems are pre-programmed to do what they do, and that's all they can do. They do not learn anything new. If machine learning is implemented, it simply means we are looking at new data and making decisions based on that new data, rather than just having all of our decisions hard-coded within the system. So that's really what machine learning adds to the picture. Now, with these basic fundamental definitions, and we could spend literally hours talking just about machine learning, maybe weeks, and then months or years talking about artificial intelligence, right? So they're big topics. This gives you the fundamental definition. So with that, having these definitions and understanding, let's take a look at a particular device that's marketed by a vendor to have artificial intelligence and machine learning. So here we're looking at documentation from Aruba, a Hewlett Packard enterprise company. They recently released their 802.11 AX access points. And part of that release was reminding people of various documentations uh, on their website related to Aruba Net Insight, Aruba Green AP, and so forth. So I've highlighted a few key things in this PDF that they provide on Aruba at a glance, Aruba Net Insight. And notice the subtitle, AI-powered analytics and assurance to deliver a first-class user experience. So it's artificial intelligence doing this for you, but there's a person sitting there. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. First, notice the first phrase I highlighted, new machine learning based solutions. So what they're saying right at the beginning is we have machine learning in our system. Remember, machine learning, the ability to look at large amounts of data and use that new data to make better decisions, to apply intelligence based on that new data. It then says the amount of data that IT must process and analyze to find and solve connectivity and performance issues makes managing the network increasingly more difficult. So the argument here is imagine that you have a network with hundreds or thousands of access points and the ability to manually monitor and look at all of them and see how they ought to be configured and how they ought to be operating can be very challenging. So the concept here is to say, let's take machine learning. We're going to gather data about the environment and use that data and the data within that that is relevant to make intelligent decisions. So when we go further, you'll see advanced network analytics and assurance tools based on machine learning intelligence can not only detect patterns, but identify root causes automatically. And more importantly, provide validated recommendations that help solve immediate and foreseeable issues. So what they're saying here is we're going to look at all that data for you. So you don't have to look at it manually. We're going to look at it based on expert insights. So what would an expert think if they took the hours and hours and hours to look at all this data that they need to do to that environment? And then we're going to take that and we're going to say automatically, here's our recommendation or possibly even automatic changes to the environment. Going further with tools that continuously learn and adapt to evolving network environments, it is easier to understand the effects that roaming can have on a network or how wireless traffic from new IoT devices affects the productivity of user voice or video traffic. Continuous baselining, peer benchmarking, and site-to-site -site comparisons give IT knowledge that would be difficult to acquire. Okay, they've just given us some insight into NetInsight, into their learning and their AI. They say continuous baselining, peer benchmarking, and site-to-site -site comparisons. Well, this is all stuff that we could do manually. They're not inventing a new wheel here. They're simply automating, creating these baselines and analyzing them, doing peer benchmarking and analyzing it, and comparing different sites and analyzing that. So Aruba Net Insight uses machine learning to work seamlessly with Aruba access points to automatically place appropriate APs into a deep sleep mode is the next one. This is about the green AP. Well, I have more of it over here. And this is an entire PDF just about Green AP from Aruba, just a couple of pages long. You'll notice it says using AI powered technology, Aruba APs are able to transition into sleep mode in areas where the demand for connectivity stops, reducing electricity demands, saving money, and adhering to a green environmental footprint. So they combine AI with machine learning. I'm not going to tell you I have some deep insights into their algorithms. Of course, they're not going to publish their algorithms because that would simply make it available for their competitors to see. But let's think about this for a moment. I want to know if I should put an AP to sleep or not. I want to not only know whether there are users connected right now or not. I want to also know whether there was a period of silence in the past during this window of time. So for example, if over the last three weeks, 
the AP has had no one connected during this time and for the next 90 minutes, then it's a safe bet that no one's going to want to connect during this time or for the next 90 minutes today because we're seeing a pattern, right? We're learning. We're gathering data over time. That's machine learning. We're then, with artificial intelligence, making a decision based on that data. Now, the reason I say algorithms is because right here, the Net Insight algorithm. And I'm going to wrap up the news desk today by giving you my opinion about something. Uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning is nothing more than algorithms. Algorithms are what computers use. It's that simple. Every action a computer takes is based on an algorithm, however simple or complex that algorithm might be. Now, an action a computer takes may be based on the result of an algorithm, which was the result of an algorithm, which was the result of two algorithms, which was the result of 17 algorithms, which was the result of one algorithm, and, well, you get the point. So, algorithms are all there are within computers. Everything they do is algorithmic in nature. And so, therefore, AI is nothing more than a special application of algorithms to give the computing device the perception of intelligence. And machine learning is nothing more than the implementation of algorithms to look at the data that has come in, analyze that data, and then make different decisions based on that data. Okay? It's all about algorithms. So here's my suggestion to you. If you want to go deep into AI and machine learning, begin to study algorithms. When you study algorithms, you're studying the foundation of all computing, including AI and ML, and deep learning or anything else that you might see as a marketing buzzword. So we can use the term AI, we can use the term machine learning, but here toward the end of the paper, it is all revealed that NetInsight has algorithms. It's that simple. This thing we call AI, this stuff we call machine learning is about algorithms. Algorithms to gather data, algorithms to process data, algorithms to analyze data, and then algorithms to take an action based on that data. That's AI and machine learning in a nutshell. Well, I hope this overview has been helpful to you, and we'll talk a little bit more about some specific areas of AI and machine learning over the coming weeks. And I want to thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you next week on the Wireless Land News Desk.